Hello. In this video, I just want to give you a really basic introduction to adding pages to WordPress. So, let's get started. This is I've logged into WordPress. Once you've logged in, if you've forgotten how to get to your dashboard, you just go click your username, go down here to where the little circle is with the W, click dashboard. Th there's more than one blog in my list, but on yours there's probably only going to be one blog here. Click the dashboard and that takes us to here. Once you get to your dashboard, look down this left hand side for pages and then click add new. And we can add a new page to our blog or website. The main difference between pages and posts is posts, um, where are we? We're in pages here, but posts are very, very similar. Now the main difference is, is categories. A, a post is easier to categorize and to organize into lists and that makes it easier for you to add a list to your website of, of posts or pages, well posts, um, and it's easier for your users to find them. So that's the main difference. Pages uh, and don't have categories like posts do. That's the main difference. But apart from that, pages and posts are very, very similar to each other. So let's get onto this vid this video we're doing now. Right. All I want to show you is how to add your title to your page. This bit at the top is where you're going to put the title. Enter title here. So and type your title in there. Now the easiest bit to add your content to your page. If you've got a word processor like Microsoft Word or I use one called, um, do you know, I've forgotten what it's called, so I'll find out. It's called LibreOffice. Libre <laughs> anyway, um, all we're going to do, we're going to copy, I've, I've formatted this in LibreOffice and we've got a subheadline, uh, heading two and heading three. I've got a list and this here is bold and italic text in a paragraph and I've already done that in the word processor so all we need to do is just copy this control copy and then go back to our web page and then where we see this button here paste from word it doesn't need to be word, uh, Microsoft Word it works with I, I've, I've tried it with several word processors and it's worked with all of them um, so click the paste from word button and in this box all we do is complete, press control V and that'll paste in the text with the formatting that we've already done in the word processor. So I'll click the insert button and there it's pasted it in. Now we'll just have a, over here there's a button that says preview so we'll have a look with this preview button. Wait for the server to get going, there we go. Now you see it's, it's, it's kept that um, bold and italic text in the paragraph. It's kept the subheading, kept this list that we made, and the smaller subheading three, it kept that as well. So that's a really convenient, easy way to do it. If, um, if you've got a word processor. Anyway, let's get back to the buttons. Um, the, the, most of the buttons are just like you'll see in an ordinary word processor. You've got lists, that's a unordered list, that's a bullet list, that's a numbered list. You've got bold, italic, um, block quotes, which is just a nice fancy little way of having a, a what we call a block quote. Um, you've got left, right and centre aligned. Add a link to your page. But there's, there's a few that you might not have seen before. One you need to know about is this one, it's called the kitchen sink. And this button here, if you can't see all the buttons, click that one and it, it opens up the rest of them. You also need to know about this HTML tab. If you find that your text looks funny with these little um, uh, tags, these are HTML tags, like the way it says H2 and strong. That means strong is bold, bold text basically. Emphas em em emphasis is um, italics, things like that. But if, you see, if you're seeing them in your page and you, you, don't, you don't want to use HTML, just click this one that says visual and that gives you a, just an ordinary word processor type um, interface. So back to the buttons, where did we get to? 
at this one here this is the more tag now uh, in future videos I'm going to show you how to list your pages in a blog type um, listing but what the uh, more tag more tab there you put put that anywhere you want in your page just click your cursor anywhere you want and click that and it'll break that text there um, for when it's in lists that you if you make a list with your website uh, a list of pages like a blog or list it'll only show that like teaser text text that bit of text there which is you know, I'm getting a bit off track there but that's what it is it's a more tag I'll show you about that in another in a later video and um, what else have we got <laughs> this one if you click this one you might be a bit surprised it takes you it, it takes away all the rest of the, um, the the page to make it easy for you to do your editing it's it's just taking away all the distractions of everything else so if you want to get back there you go back to this you just hover over hover over the top of your screen and then click exit full screen that that button is just there to, to make it take away all this distraction so you can type away without thinking about all the other stuff what else have we got you need to oh, un undo and redo <laughs> well worth knowing is the uh, undo button um what else well, i think that's about it once you've made your page once you've made the page and you're happy with it, the formatting the way you've laid it out you can click the publish button you can click the preview button first of all we'll preview the, the page see if it's how we want it yep looks okay to me happy with that so we'll go back to the web page um, and we want to publish the page so all I need to do is click publish and then it'll save all that text into our database the, the, this WordPress is made from um, it, it uses a database to store all the text so publish we've up, we've published it so we've saved the text now there's a button there that says view page so we can click either that view page to see the page make sure it's okay or click this preview changes and that's about all we need to know for this video I'll just show you how to log out um, because whenever you've finished editing it you need really to log out so this button here that says sign out there we go there we go we've signed out right what else did I want to oh, I'll tell you what I wanted to do I just want to have a quick recap I made some slides for you to uh, well one one slide for this video uh, just so that we we can remember what we've been doing now once you've logged in you click your username go down to your website and then out to the side and click dashboard and that'll take you to the dashboard then you want to click pages add new and that will uh, take you to a, a screen where you can add new pages when you get to the add new pages page <laughs> make sure that you're in visual mode and you click this uh, um, kitchen sink button so that all the buttons can be seen if you can't see all the buttons make sure you click the visual button and this kitchen sink button right you just put your headline in the top text box type your text in there and format it with these buttons or if you want to click the paste from word button that's that one there click the paste from word button and just paste your text in then click the insert button and don't forget to publish when you've finished if you forget to publish your page uh, you'll lose your changes when you when you close that web page well that's all for this video uh, there's plenty more videos in this series I'm going to take through the the whole process of just starting a basic website for yourself using WordPress thanks for watching if you want to uh, to see some more more videos and the web page because each one of these videos has got a web page to go with it um, not sure if I can sh oh, here we go this, this is the web page that goes with that particular video um, but each each of the videos I make I'm putting the videos on YouTube and I'm making uh, a web page to go on this website here, using hyphen wordpress.org so thanks for watching I hope you found it useful and I hope you do try WordPress WordPress is very good 
and with a little bit of um, a little bit of practice you can soon be making a good website of your own thanks for watching i hope you pop back bye